Okay, when did you go into business, Harley? 1964. And where was the location? Main Street. Right behind you. Right. How long were you in there for? Two and a half years. And then where did you move it to? Down at Arrowhead. And how long have you been at Arrowhead now? Over 50 years. 52. So when you started in up, you say uptown? What do you, what do you call it? Main Street. Main, Standard, Street. Yeah, Main Street. Street. How many employees did you have? Three. Plus a couple part-time. So how many stalls did you have at the time? Two. All right. How many gallons did you pump back then? Lots. You did. Thousand a day, about thirty thousand a month. That's pretty good back then, huh? It was pretty good. So, when you first started, what was your goal? What did you want to accomplish when you first started? Get out of debt. <laughs> did you get out of debt? Yep. All right. Are you still out of debt? That's you got, right. You got married. <laughs> oh, he was and married. There's George. He was married. Yeah. Mary, yeah, he carried Mary in. Okay, so when you started downtown, how much did you have to go into debt? Twelve thousand five hundred dollars. Twelve thousand five hundred. Did you borrow that from the bank? Or did you you? Standard oil. Electric standard oil. Yeah. How did you get into the business? How did you get started on this? Like, what came? How did you get this idea? My father was uh, standard oil rep, retired. And I asked him how much money he needed. He said, guys had 500 bucks and I had 1,500. I thought I was rich. <laughs> so then you, he gave you the idea to start a station? I put my application in, I put his name on there, and they come after me right away. All right. So what's a good memory you have of the original station? There was no parking up there. So what did you do? Parked him on the street. And they marked them. I had to move them every hour. We go out and spin the tires. You go out and do what? <laughs> spin the tires. Yeah. <laughs> Pull the brake out of the car and break them. Get rid of the white mark. Yeah, get rid of the white mark. I thought you had to wash it with a brush. <laughs> You've no. never tried that. Another good memory you have. Did your kids ever go down there and work with you back then? Who? Or the, your kids? Did they work with you at the old station? She's married and only two years old. Uh, but she's probably working already, most likely. She'd come down there. Was she telling people what to do? Story about Mary. Yeah, was she telling you people what to do at two years old? I put a rag in my hand. <laughs> oh, I put my arm was, in the machine. Yep. She got a cut in that washing Wait, machine one time. Yeah. Did she get hurt? I think she got caught in the till cup there, too, didn't she? Stop. No. <laughs> I never had a till back in the day. Yeah. You didn't have a till back in the day? What did yeah, you do? Yeah, I did. Chop sewer was all the time. Well, I knew where you hid the money. Because <laughs> <laughs> we, we closed down a few times, not much. You usually came right down and closed down. Seven in the morning, you'd be there. And, and what? Seven at night, you closed? Well, I think it was eight, eight or nine. Eight or nine, yeah. And you'd be there the whole time? No. Oh, oh you'd be running. Where'd it be the time? Some guys work and you have to be there. <laughs> Here you go. Harley's are, sister, are being funny. Thelma dropped Tom off. And who's, Har wait, who's, who's Thelma? Harley's sister. sister. Okay. And dropped Tom, little Tom, he was what, seven years old. And Harley says, this, he's your responsibility. Don't let him get hurt. Did you let him get hurt? No, no. Oh. no. I taught him everything he knows. I know, and then how long did Tom work for <laughs> you? He retired. You? And then Tom retired a year ago. Yeah. Sweet. And now your grandson worked for Harley, too. Yep. Good stuff. Ethan. Ethan. Chaplowski. Chops. Yeah. What's your name? Tom Chaplowski. Call me Chops. All right. When did you start working for Harley? When, when did you take over? 64? 64, yeah. 1964. And then how long did you work for him? Until <clears throat> I got out in 67. I left. What was your job there? <laughs> I <wanna> Everything. <laughs> I want to hear what that is. Uh, I was the gopher. 
Yeah. <laughs> ask how much you made an hour. How much did you make an hour? I can't remember. Did I get paid? Harley, do you remember? <laughs> I don't think I got paid. I think he, he probably he was, he was my sugar daddy. I think we got a he, if, I need, if I need the money, I got her. So, what was, was how was Harley as a boss? Good. A lot, a lot of respect for him. What, what was some things that you tried to get away with as oh, an employee? Oh, oh, oh. You haven't got time for that. <laughs> no, no, no. You, you haven't got enough film. I got time. <laughs> no. Tell me about the hiding of the liquor. What's all that about? Well, I, I was getting married, so I had a stock up. And so we're in the Main Street, you can yeah. find whatever you wanted. And, and Harley would sometime buy us a beer, take us over to the... Where would he take you to? I can't remember. What? Where would you take him for a beer? Well, uh, I can't remember. No. I remember here you taking us over yeah. there. Um, one thing about it, every Friday, We'd buy the beer and all that for the Walkers, so every girl we knew in town got roses. <laughs> so, uh, I hardly didn't know that. Um, what was, okay, as when you worked there, what's the most memorable story you can remember? Something to do with anybody's cars, or Harley maybe getting mad at something, or... He doesn't get mad, he gets disgusted. Shake your head. <laughs> <laughs> so he still does that. So and then we also tell me about like did a car ever like roll off the dock or like anything like that? Yeah, it did. I, uh, one let loose and went down, rolling down across uh, we had some kids that didn't know what he was doing. It. Yeah. I wasn't there. I was there, I was there yeah, because I came and got you. Where in church? Yeah, yeah. Have to take my But the Lord forgave him. <laughs> Good man. I'm glad I've known him. <laughs>